Hello. Uh, I don't know how to start this, but I have a friend with me today. Th this is Alex. You can speak now. Oh, hello. Uh, today we are going to do the first video of probably multiple videos of a sort of talky podcast thing. Which is currently unnamed. We, we, I don't know. Drop some recommended names in the comments section, I guess. Hopefully we think of one by the, by the end of this. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, we're just gonna, like, talk for a while. How about you start us out with something? Something? Something. <laughs> best topic there is. The only topic there is. Yes, of course. If you have, if you are watching this and you have not watched Marble Hornets yet, leave. J just go watch it. It's nine, hour, it's nine hours of your time you will not regret getting rid of. Yeah! Nine, <laughs> nine very bingeable hours. Uh... It's, it's it's great. You should go watch. Definitely. I think that do you know how like Alex says that it's like at the end Alex says that it's like all Tim's fault and it's all his fault that all of this is happening and that all of that happened was because of Tim. But if you remember back in the flashbacks that we got, um it was Alex who suggested that Tim join the production. And then Brian convinced Tim to, to sign up. So technically, it still is Alex's fault. I'm not wrong, and you cannot tell me otherwise. I will tell you otherwise. No. You are wrong. How am I wrong? Because I disliked your opinion. Well, your opinion is wrong! It's a fact! It was Alex's fault. Alex is the reason why the stuff happened to him, and why everybody is... Dead? Half of them are dead, half of them don't exist anymore. Yeah. You know how in our roleplay we have every single person talks except for Scully? And when yeah. the comics start, and when we started reading the comic, we realized that in canon, it's the opposite. Well, I mean, technically, he hasn't really spoken. He's only spoken, like, a few times. He's spoken through the minds of people. That's more than any of the other characters have. Well, then there was the, that one time where he, like, you know... Found Jessica's house and like said, uh, I don't hold on, I don't remember. I don't know, go get the comic. Uh, oh, uh, if you probably do, we did a role play of Marble Hornets during a while ago, and uh, we plan to turn it into a comic kind of. Have you arrived with the with the Marvel Hornets comic? I'm, I'm looking for the pages. Find the page. Okay, I remember one thing he says, which is just "It's you," and then Jessica runs off. It's you. You're broken. Uh, hold on. I'm. Uh, yeah. And then the the only other thing he says is "You are broken. You can be fixed." Those are the 
two things he said. The reason why I was very con- I was very confused about that line because throughout ac- the actual um series, the line is "You're broken and you cannot be fixed." So when Scully says you can be fixed, I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking for pictures. Also, uh, there's still the canonical mystery of who is Scully. Cause it's not Jay. Who's this Scully? Who is it? I don't know. A lot of people. Hold on. What's his name? Seth. The, the blonde guy. A lot of people think it's him. A lot of people think it's Seth. No, not Seth. Seth oh wait, the blonde, blonde guy from the comic. Yes. Seth I don't. Blonde. It's not him. I don't think it can be him. It doesn't line up because uh, I don't know. I don't want it to be. A lot him. of people just. Uh, a lot of people that I know seem to think it's him, though. I don't understand. I don't, I don't think it's him. It doesn't seem like it'd be him. Why do we do it? What's his name? I forgot his name. I think we, we had this discussion over Discord. What's his name again? I don't know. I, isn't it Adam? I, I, I don't remember. Who's his friend's name? <laughs> uh, let me check. There's also the lesbian doctor who does not have a name yet. Perhaps in the third, she will have a name. I really want it to come here already. It, I want it so. I want to see. I want to see it so bad. I want. I want it. There is no way that those two aren't lesbians. I mean, you saw the way they stared at each other for absolutely no reason. You don't just do that. You, you just don't do that. You don't That's just you. do that. <laughs> Did you see their faces? They're gay. All right. So, blonde dude's friend's name is David. 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 Okay. Not the blonde guy. His friend. Yeah, the guy who doesn't want to be there. Yeah. The camera guy who's just being, he's, he doesn't want to be here at all. Yeah. Dragged along for the ride. Like everybody in the original series. Another topic. Sure, what topic? Uh... <laughs> what do you think you're going to do for college? Uh, good question. I've been trying to figure that out, but I have pro- I, I think I've just settled on not doing anything art related and just being an English major because it's easier. be a boring English major. I mean, if it works, it works. I mean, I've been getting into classical r- literature more and more, so it might fit, so. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I See, that's something I haven't really ever thought about. <laughs> I've been thinking about it for years. <laughs> this is how I spend my time. Wonderful. I mean, I don't really know what I want to do with my life other than, I guess, die at one point. My life goal is to survive until I die. There is my life goal. Wonderful. (laughs) Ah, I keep hitting the paper. I mean, at least if I do, like, become an English major, I have foundations for other things. If I do choose to do other things. Yeah. 
Fun fact, if you are a federal person or a historian, you are required to read the Constitution and the uh, Declaration of Independence regularly. So, like, you have to know it. You have to, like, read it on, like, a regular basis. So, like, every week or so, every day, every month whatever your regular schedule is for reading the Constitution. Jesus. You can also buy a, a copy of the Constitution and the Declaration of, Depend- of Independence on Amazon right now if you want to go and uh, prove to all your friends that um, what they're trying to say about the world is false, especially in these trying times. Wonderful. <laughs> What type of cla- what's your favorite classic literature book? Like, other than Romeo uh, and Juliet? Uh, uh, Specifically uh, not Romeo and Juliet. Don't say that, because you have to read it when you see it. I mean, technically I did read it, well, most of it. I'm on Act 5. How many acts are there? Romeo and Juliet if it's that long. It's over a hundred pages long, I think. Okay, that's or not long. About it. Yeah, but it's in, it's in those, like, you know how big those, uh, you know how big those school textbooks are? Ah, uh, yes. I mean, at least with all, like, the, the scenes and, like, the acts within the thing, you have, like, checkpoints like chapters like you have like you, you, you get some satisfaction about completing a scene or a thing or whatever i suppose yeah i think that my favorite classical rit- literature is the iliad because the iliad is graceful and beautiful I've never heard of that. Well, the Iliad is a collection of every single uh, Greek story, like Greek mythology story, collected all by a philosopher into this book. And well, there are multiple books, but this is the main one. And there's also the Odyssey. And I think there's one more, but I can't find it. Um, but basically, it's it's all about Greek mythology and everything that has to do with that in sort of like a, um, a story way. Like, it forms it in, like, chronicle- chronological order rather-, rather than just a collection of stories. That's cool. Yes. Uh, I can- cannot do this. Are you struggling? What aren't I? Fair enough. I have nerds. I still have, have some. I still have a ton of Halloween candy left over from Halloween, but it's like I still have about all of it. But all of my Halloween candy that I have left is fruity candy. I don't really like fru- fruity candy very much. Uh-huh. I like chocolate candy more. So, like yeah. chocolate. No, I still have like all of mine. <laughs> you just not eat your candy? Yeah. Basically. A child who does not eat candy. Preposterous. I mean, I already had candy. Well, more of a giant bag of crunch bars, but you know. I don't get candy. Well. The only candy I I have was a giant bag of nerds. 
and uh, a bunch of fun dip. And now I have some Halloween candy left over. Keep forgetting that fun dip is a thing. Why is it a thing? I don't know. I, I guess because someone decided to create it. It's just sugar! Who knows? This world is strange. I recently started reading a book, or at least what I can read of the book off of the internet, um, but it's about this boy and another boy who become friends and they're angsty, or at least the main character is angsty. <laughs> And they're 15, and they const and he constantly points out that they're 15, and he's like, I don't- I'm not a real person because I'm 15. I have no rights because I'm 15. I'm an idiot because I'm 15. He shouldn't be that hot. He's 15. What? <laughs> he shouldn't be philosophical. He's 15. I'm kind of offended. They really push the fact that they're 15. It seems like it. Although the book is very sweet, even though I haven't finished it. It is called Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. And it is gay! Of course it is. Of course it is. They were gonna make a movie about it, but that didn't happen. Oh, wonderful. As many things, they just didn't happen. Yep. Ugh. The Google preview, though, like, takes out a ton of pages. And so I'm just reading the page, and then it gets cut off, and the next page is gone, and I'm just like, what am I supposed to do now? It's just not there! Like, just other like, pages are there! What? I'm just like, haha, nope, you can't read this. <laughs> you wanna know what crazy shenanigans they get up to in this guy's bedroom? No! There was a page that just started with them talking about something, but you don't get the context to what they're talking about it. Because the other page is not there! There was an entire chapter! Gone! Oh my god. Granted, the chapter was only two pages long, but that's still a chapter! What? I want my full story. What TV show have you been watching recently? <laughs> Most recently, I should say. Most recently, uh, Attack on Titan. Of course! Anything else? <laughs> I mean, you just said most recent, but I guess if we're not talking about anime, uh, The Big Bang Theory. Ah, uh, yes, classic. Just been kind of watching other shows, uh, mainly because I've watched so much of the big bang theory that i'm like all right I'm, let me take a bit of a break from this for a bit i mean it's the big bang theory what's not to like about it true it's just you know when you try and like kind of binge watch at least half the episodes in a season for it it uh gets kind of boring my, my mom uh watches it every single night so I will sit in my room, and I'll just hear the Big Bang Theory theme. And I'll just be like, excuse you, can you turn down the bang? Can you turn 
turned down the bag. <laughs> yes. And then I'll just hear, hear Sheldon scream about something science. That seems about right. Sheldon is very quotable, which is very lovely. Very. If a show isn't quotable, then it's not popular. Then it isn't good. It shouldn't it's not, exist. It, it shouldn't exist. I mean, look at Marvel Hornets. You can quote every single thing that Alex has said. Yeah. You brought your dog! You brought your dog. Guess what's battery powered? Da da dum. Nobody's gonna get that. Nobody's gonna get either of those jokes if they don't actually watch the series. Yep. I mean, if they've made it this far without watching the series, then uh, uh, I commend you. You command them. I commend you. Oh. <laughs> but I also do command you to watch the TV show. TV show? It's not a TV show. <laughs> The TV web show. show. <laughs> web series. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> what would you call it? It's not an ARG. I guess it's just a net oh, web, series. web series, I guess, yeah. I mean, if you're like some people and go through every single To The Arc video and go decode it, then I guess it's an ARG for you. But if you're not, then oh. it's just a web series. <laughs> It's all already decoded. Yep. They ha I remember, uh, um, during a, uh, conference, not con- what- I don't know what I'm saying, a, like, a- what? Con? A convention? That's what this is called. That's what that is called. Uh, I don't know words. Um, uh, th 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 Troy was like, not a lot of people have- cracked this one code here's a hint because nobody could figure it out he had oh, to actually yeah. go and like go under an alias and like give them a hint to figure it out yeah. because nobody could figure it out <laughs> I mean at least we know that he did a good job I, I, yeah I guess he did he did a good job with decoding with, with coding I can't, I can't speak. Lovely. <laughs> Always lovely. Lovely. Always. Always. It's like raining Always. outside. It's raining outside. Oh, it, it's been raining here for uh, a good while. It's been raining for like an hour. And it, it's just, it's just, it's non-stop. It's just keep going, like Hamilton. Oh my god. We're starting the Hamilton mess! We're starting the Hamilton mess. I don't know, I don't, can't speak words. Um, words what? don't exist. <laughs> what is your least favorite song in Hamilton? My least favorite? Yes. Oh, Jesus, uh, I don't, I, I don't know. Most people say Hurricane. Hurricane? Which one's Hurricane? Hurricane is the one where he, where he's like, I need to protect my legacy. The Reynolds pamphlet. Oh, where he's just kind of everything? Yes. Where he's like, I'm, I am an idiot and I'm going to expose myself as having an affair for absolutely no reason. Um, I don't know. It might be that one, I guess. My, I think my, f well, there's a, well, um, well, there's songs that will make me cry, so I don't want to listen to them anymore. Um. <laughs> like satisfied makes me very sad. Um uh, also can, can I, I like all of them. Can I just take
take a moment to uh, can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that um within Hamilton itself uh between helpless and uh and satisfied they had to literally redo the same scene that they just did really yeah cuz satisfied is a going back to the time of helpless but through Aunt Angelica's point of view uh that's the whole point of the rewind. Oh, well, yeah, I know. I just, <laughs> you know, don't really pay attention to it. You don't pay attention to anything. That's because my attention span says no. My favorite part of the musical is the fact that during the Reynolds pamphlet, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, King George this sort of comes out of nowhere and starts taunting Hamilton during the Hamilton movie. It's great. Wonderful. <laughs> He's just there for half of it. He's just there for half of the entire movie for absolutely no reason. And it's hilarious. She's reasonable. Whether it's taunting them or dancing to the songs in the background, it's great. He's always there. Oh, yeah. He he really enjoys just dancing in the background. <laughs> yes. I mean, can you blame him? Just half the time you look in the background and you can see him just dancing. <laughs> He's always there, always watching from afar. Yep. Have you seen Jonathan Jonathan's audio like audition tapes for his role as George Washington? No, George Washington, King, <laughs> King George. There are two Georges, and I got them mixed up. Congratulations. Um, no, I I've not watched them. Oh well, it's basically just him stuttering while while singing uh, my shot. And he's failing very much. I don't know how he got the role. I don't think anybody does. But he got the role. Amazing. Congratulations, you're dumb. I finally finished another panel. One singular panel? Yeah, the sad thing is, is that I already had most of it sketched out. Well, wait, you just go one panel at a time? Yep. Shouldn't you, like plan out every single panel, like sketch out every panel, do the line art of every single panel, and then do the coloring every panel, and then do the shading of every panel. It just makes it easier. It makes it go faster. So you're not drawing the same thing over and over again. It would be easier. I don't color the panels, though. Well, line art the panels, or sh uh, whatever. Are you doing it in black and, wh black and white? Uh, no, I'm... What I did for the first page was, like, I just, um... I, I, I redid it all in pen. And... Except for most of the shading. Most of the shading is just pencil. Um... But... I did, I did, redid most of it in pen, um, and I'm probably going to do that with this one. I'm not sure. I might not, because, um, hello? Oh. The call just got disconnected. I think, I think his phone died.
Hello? Hey. There, I don't know what happened. I got disconnected. Oh. Ah, uh, but we're back. <laughs> um, technical difficulties aside. Uh, well, anyways, what I was saying is that I, I did it all in pen, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it with the rest of the pages or not, mm-hmm. because I might digitalize it, but I also might not. And if I don't, then I'm probably going to do it all in pen. I could digitalize it for you. You could. Is there a bud? No, there isn't. I don't, I don't know. Um, you could digital. You know what we could do? If we do digitalize them, we could do, like, um, you get a page, I get a page. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. That's the the, We'd have to, like, have, like, uh, I could, like, digitalize a color scheme. It's, like, muted tones for, like, backgrounds and stuff, or, like, certain things, and, like, the characters, character turnarounds and stuff like that, so it would be easier for us to, like, sketch out the pages. Yeah. Oh, question. How uh, how good are you at background? Mediocre. Mhm. Why? Do you want me to do all the backgrounds? <laughs> if you want, I mean, I'm kind of, kind of, you know, not so great at them. I'm better at mountain backgrounds than, like, trees and stuff, though. But I, I, oh, well, you're gonna absolutely hate the first page, then. Isn't the first page in the gas station? Yeah, but the first panel, you know, like, one of the one of the biggest ones. Um, oh, just- so there's, like, an <laughs> introduction panel? Yeah. Oh my god. How did you, like, start it out? Because I know that, like, we had- I don't even know how the thing started out anymore, because it was, like, a Haikyuu Marble Hornets crossover <laughs> in the general oh, yeah. chat? Yeah, no, I, I just- I didn't take pictures of that. I wasn't scrolling that far. I just- anything that happened in that doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. It didn't happen. I'll uh, well, it eventually. Well, I know the key events that happened, like- actually contributed to where we are to where we started in the actual Marble yeah. Hornets chat was the operator came in and decided to hey let me let me just fucking knock out Scully and now he's Jay Yeah hold on I'll send you a picture of the, the first the first page. I know I've sent you it before but I it was a while ago. Oh, I see. Yeah. Although I feel like we should do a little bit beforehand. Yeah, I thought about that, because after I made it, I was like, well... There's absolutely no context to this. That's the problem. See, but my thought, my thought was like... Whenever we, like, post it, if we do, anywhere, you could just, like, you know, write a, write a little, like, thing before it saying what happened. Or we could just have another page before it. I guess. I guess. We could, I guess. Like, I, maybe, like, in the beginning we have, like, uh... The three of them in the gas station just sort of, like, chilling around, and then they start, like, dying from Slender Sickness, and then Slendy comes in and he's like, die, and Scully's like, I'm dead now, and then they're like, wait, what? And then Scully awakens, and then Scully is not Scully, and Scully is Jay, and Jay is scared. Which then leads to the fight between Hoodie and Nasty. Yes, of course. I guess. I feel like that's gonna be, like, two pages, though. 
Uh, might be more than two. I don't know. I can plan that out. It's fine. I mean, you can plan it out if you want. I don't know what we really would do for it, though, because it would have to... I would say make it, like, a, you know, a bit of something separate and stuff. Just say, like, hey, this is this is what led up to this all happening, but not really uh, put it in the beginning. What do you mean by that? Like, you know, after, I don't know, um, after, like, uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me think about this. I'm killing my brain. So, you know, you know how, like, you know how, like, some, some, like, you know, kind of like a flashback kind of thing. A flashback to what? Like, not really a flashback, like, but, you know, a flashback kind of, like, type thing. Uh, I'm bad at explaining. You shouldn't ask me these things. A flashback to what? To what happened before this. So what happened right before the fight? Yeah. But like, that's what we were talking about, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, that. But why don't we just put it before that? So it you makes know, sense chronologically. We're not Troy! This isn't season two! Yeah, but you know. This isn't season two of Marvel Hornets! But it could be. This is season four! The season that never happened. The season that should never have happened. We should probably not be yelling this on the podcast, though. Or did you forget about that? I didn't. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> we're, we're recording. Um. I honestly don't know what else to say, so I might just end it here. It's been like 50 minutes. It's fine. We have some material to work with. Wait, it's been 50 minutes? Yes. Technically oh, like 47 minutes done. and 45 seconds. I've done so little. <laughs> um, well, in that case, uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, would you like to say something, Alex? Watch, watch the other videos that are on this channel. They're great. They're good. You should also definitely 100% subscribe. Are you being sarcastic? I can't tell. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> uh, like the video. Uh, go watch Marble Hornets. Uh, go read the Marble Hornets comics. Uh, yeah, go read a book. Go read some classical literature. Uh, go watch Hamilton, and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.